Who should love each other more in a relationship? Should the guy be obsessed with the girl? Should the girl be obsessed with the guy? Who should really be the dominant one in the power dynamic and how does it play out? In today's episode, I'm gonna tell you about who should like each other more and why this makes sense. What's up, guys? My name is Samed Bassani. If you've seen my content before, I talk a lot about mental health, lifestyle, relationships, business, and all the above. And today I'm gonna talk about who should like each other more in the relationship. A lot of people ask me this question. I'm obsessed with my girl, but I don't feel like she cares about me. Or I'm obsessed with my man, and he doesn't even give me the time of day. What is the right mixture here? Now, the reality is, I'm not gonna go into the hypotheticals or the perfect world. I'm gonna go into what reality is. People are just not gonna be equal in their attraction to one another. Someone's gonna be better than the other person. And the majority of the time, it's gonna be unequal. Someone's gonna care a little bit more. I wouldn't say it's a 95-5, I wouldn't say it's an 80-20, but I would say it's closer to a 60-40 a lot of times in relationships. And the bottom line of this, the person that should care more, ready for this, is the woman. The woman should care more for the man because women are hypergamous by nature. A woman is going to want a man that's taller, that's stronger, that's more motivated, that's more aggressive, that is probably more successful. A lot of women are gonna be attracted to a guy that's doing better than them, that's able to coach them and guide them and lead them. That's the point of having a leader in the relationship. A woman wants to date a man that's making just as much money as her, if not more. A woman wants to date a man that's just her height or more. A woman wants a man that's going to be equal to her or more. And she's going to ideally go for that guy that's giving her more because she wants a better lifestyle. This is basic biology. Women want to be enhanced in the situation they're going to be in because and that is the nature of biology because when it comes to pregnancy, when it comes to incubation of the baby, she's going to be unable to work. And in a very primitive manner, she's going to want someone that's able to provide her a higher quality of life, more security, more comfort for the foundation of creating that baby's life. Typically, after a woman gives birth, she doesn't want to work for the first two to three years. Sometimes women go back to the workforce and they do that because they have to a lot of times, but the majority of women, if they could choose, would stay at home and just raise the children and spend time with their loved one, their child, the person that they love the most in the world, which transitions from the partner typically to the child. That's something I'm not gonna get into as much because your woman should always be focused on you, but we are very wired biologically and that often transitions to the baby. And what I want you to understand is this, your woman should love you more. Your girlfriend should love you more. As a girl, you should love your man more than your man loves you. And this is gonna be cringe for a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna get very upset with this. But when a woman is chased, when a woman is obsessed over, she typically misbehaves. She typically understands that, oh, I can go get better than this guy. This guy is worshiping the ground I walk on. Women will say, oh, I want a man that loves me. Women will say they want a man that's obsessed with them. But there are a lot of men that are obsessed with them and they don't give those guys a chance. There are a ton of guys in the DMs that wanna have a chance to take her out to dinner. She don't give them any play. She don't give them any attention. But oftentimes you'll see her go after the guy that's not giving her that much because this guy is viewed as better. And in a realistic sense, I'm not talking about in an egregious, vulgar, obtuse sense, this guy is going to care slightly less than she does. The man has to be better. You see billionaires and CEOs marry women that are not billionaires and CEOs. And the reality is these women are not on their level. You see athletes marry regular girls that are servers and these women are not on their level. And you might say, well, she is on his level emotionally and so on and so forth. Like, no, it, it's not the same. It's not even close. But because of the nature of hypergamy and because of a man's lust and desire to reproduce, he's going to settle for a woman that he finds attractive that can bring him some level of peace. There is very rarely a situation where a man is making 10 million and he's dating a girl that's making 50. And I'm not saying that money's the only way to represent this, but in the capitalistic society that we live in today, money is a great indicator of success, of determination, of dominance, of aggression, all the above. And it's very rare that a girl is going to be taller than a guy and date him. It's very rare that a girl is going to be more intellectual than a man that she's dating. There's a lot of situations where a man is typically just going to have to be better. And so I tell guys a lot of times, don't try to go for a girl that's on your level. Go for a girl that's slightly under your level. If you want a girl that's above that, focus on elevating yourself. If you want to date a girl that's making $100,000, that's five foot five, you better be five foot ten, five foot nine, making double the money that she's making. I'm just keeping it real because this is going to allow you to be seen as a leader. It's going to allow you more control in the relationship. And you're just genuinely going to be a lot happier 
with the relationship altogether because you're going to be able to provide her value and be able to coach and guide her and motivate and lead her and really support her the way that you want to. And she's going to be more dependent on you and you're by default going to be dependent on her as a man for the lustful nature of what the interaction is. Men are always dependent on women. We need women to function. We need women to survive. We need women to feel good in life. A man is never complete without selection for women and access to the sexual marketplace. A woman is never complete unless she finds a man that can bankroll her life, take care of her, and provide for her. Not necessarily that she can't do that. It's not that she can't do that, but he does that for her out of the love, out of the care, out of the discipline, out of the loyalty, out of the commitment that he has for her. That is why it's important to be better. And everyone I did, it's not that she's not equal to me, right? It's just that I can provide more, I can do more for her. So the big thing you gotta understand is there's a dynamic here. There's always someone that likes each other more. And when a woman likes you more, she's gonna be more attentive, more nurturing, more caring because you are the investment vehicle for her. A woman can inject her feminine energy into you as a man and supercharge your life and get you going from zero to 100. The right women that are very feminine can really allow you to grow and scale to ways that you can't even imagine. I have had so many good women in my life that have made me go up as a person that have elevated me that have taught me things that have refined me that have really cleaned me up and i'm so thankful to these women i'm so thankful and it's a crime as a man to leave these women behind it's just that these relationships didn't work out for whatever reason it wasn't something where i left them after i made money but the big thing you got to understand is this find the woman that chooses you Find the woman that wants to believe in you. Find the woman that's obsessed with you and then give her the world and then reciprocate to her. Then be loyal, be disciplined. Don't be an idiot and throw her to the side. Don't be someone that's negligent and forget where you came from. If a woman has built you up, a woman has helped you out, a woman has supported you, a woman was loyal to you, how dare you push her away? How dare you try to go find better when the best is already in your possession, when the best is already there, when she loved you, when you had nothing? This is the mistake that we make as guys. We always think we wanna get better. We always try to date at our caliber. Dumbest thing that you could do. When a woman loves you, she can change your life. And that's why I always tell you to choose the woman that chooses you and choose a woman that's slightly more into you than you're into her. It's not that it should be egregious, but you want a girl that puts more energy and more love into the relationship slightly more because you should be focused on the business, you should be focused on your purpose, and you should be focused on leading her to a right path and providing for her by the things that you're doing. This is how you show your love as a man. So I hope this video makes sense. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight on the way that I think. You don't have to agree with this in any way. You can do whatever you want to do and you can turn back to me if it doesn't work out or you can tell me your success story in whichever way that you're doing it. But I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to spend here with me. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Until next time, guys, Sumi out.